Back in September 2015, the European Commission launched its Capital Markets Union Action Plan, which was designed to boost economic growth in Europe. The project aimed to create a more interconnected and diversified financial system in the EU and to make it easier for Europe's businesses, especially SMEs, to access the capital they need to develop, grow and create jobs. The CMU Action Plan aimed to tackle two main issues. Firstly, that many businesses in Europe are too reliant on bank lending for finance and in turn find it difficult to access capital through equity and bond markets. And also that there are many different rules and practices for financial markets across Europe, which limits the opportunities for investors to finance companies in different countries and for companies to develop across borders. To address these challenges, the CMU Action Plan aimed to create a single capital market in the EU where investors can invest their funds without hindrance, across borders, and businesses can raise capital from a diverse range of sources, irrespective of their location. Since then, we've seen a number of important measures introduced, such as a new framework to reinvigorate a sound securitization market in the EU and reform of the prospectus regulation to make it easier for SMEs and startups to raise funds by listing on stock exchanges and issuing bonds. But achieving Capital Markets Union will be a long-term project. So, three years on from the CMU Action Plan's launch, AFMI, with support from other trade associations, has devised seven key performance indicators, which will make it possible to track its progress over time in key areas, both across the whole EU and for individual EU member states. For instance, to date, our indicators show the amount of capital markets funding available to SMEs in the form of venture capital, private equity, business angel investment and equity crowdfunding has more than doubled from 10.6 billion euros in 2013 to 22.7 billion euros in 2017. A key element of CMU is also to increase the amount of savings which belong to EU households that are invested in capital markets assets such as shares, bonds, investment funds or pension savings. This amount has increased from 108.7% of EU GDP in 2012 to 118.2% of GDP in 2017. We also found there have been significant developments in sustainable finance with over 126 billion euros worth of sustainable bonds raised in Europe between 2012 and 2017. However, there is still room for improvement in a number of areas. For instance, we found that European companies continue to over-rely on bank lending, with 86% of their new funding in 2017 coming from banks and only 14% from capital markets. There also remain significant differences between EU member states on how well developed their capital markets are. For instance, capital markets in Central and Eastern Europe have shown some encouraging improvements, but still have some way to catch up with Western European markets. As our researchers found, clear progress has been made, but there is also still some way to go to achieve a European capital markets union. It's now important to build on the progress that has been made so far and ensure this vital initiative remains a priority for the long term for both the EU overall and individual member states. To find out more and to read our full report, Capital Markets Union, Measuring Progress and Planning for Success, visit the AFMI website. <laughs>